if you're like me, you're probably always tempted to carry too many cameras and too many lenses. But the question is, how many is the right amount to carry? Have you heard the phrase one camera, one lens? Many people say one camera, one lens will make you a better photographer. Do I agree? No, I don't agree. Maybe partly agree. Let me explain. So yes, in this video, we're gonna talk about whether you can benefit from only using one camera and one lens. It obviously doesn't need to be this camera and we'll talk about different cameras and different lenses. Pros and cons of using only one camera, pros and cons of using only one lens. Stay with me through until the end. I'll cover seven possible solutions which may give you the best of both worlds and two recent examples from my own photography. Let's get started. Number one, it doesn't matter if you're shooting with a film camera or a digital camera. Having one camera will allow you to master the one camera that you're using. If we split that into film and into digital, if you're using vintage cameras, sometimes you're better to stick to one particular camera because you can get used to all the various quirks and features because some of the older cameras are not as easy to use. And then if we look at digital cameras, it's not so much the operating the camera, which could be difficult. It's the fact that many people get stuck in the menus and try and find the right buttons for the right settings that they're trying to use. Either way, if you know your camera, you're gonna waste a lot less time by faffing, trying to work out how to use the actual camera itself and just actually get to take the pictures you want to take. And just to add to that, and there's a lot of Leica shooters that watch this channel. Leica specifically, if you go from a Leica rangefinder camera to a Leica SLR camera or a Leica EVF mirrorless camera, it is a big difference in how you're gonna use the cameras. So for example, if you're going from a Leica M10 rangefinder camera and then you start using the Leica SL, the camera I use a lot at the moment, it's completely different. You basically, you lose your ninjiness, if that's a word, from using your Leica M10, Leica M240 and using a rangefinder camera because you get lazy and start using the EVF camera. Talking from experience, I was pretty ninja-ish with a rangefinder camera because I'd use the M9, the M8, the M240, and then all the film rangefinder cameras. As I started to use the EVF like a CL and then like a SL, if I now go back to the M240, I'm not as good with a rangefinder as I was before. So you do lose your, your edge if you're sw switching around between cameras. Equally, if you're then using like SLR cameras that I'm doing at the moment, again, you're going to lose your ninjiness from using your, say, like M6 or whatever rangefinder camera you use. So switching between systems can be a negative. Number two, following on from number one, muscle memory. You want a camera that you use it so much you almost don't need to look for the buttons and you, you know where your, your, your shutter button is, you know where the, say the tab is if you're using a rangefinder camera. And so you just, you don't even need to look. You just like bring it to your eye, move it from say this position to say this position. You know that that's whatever distance, take your shot. That's muscle memory. That's being able to use the tool without even thinking and not, without even looking. And that's really important, especially for say street photography and something where you need to work really quick. Number three, trying to create a consistent look across a body of work. So let's say you're a wedding photographer. Well, let's say you're printing a body of work. If you're using say one digital Leica SL camera in this example, and say one Fuji digital camera. After doing a recent workshop with a Fuji shooter guy and getting to play with a Fuji digital camera, the look from the Fuji digital sensor is completely different to the look from a Leica digital sensor. I'm sure you guys will maybe disagree with me, but as someone coming at it with a fresh pair of eyes, you can clearly see the difference in the colors from a Fuji sensor compared to a Leica sensor. So for that reason, if you're shooting half with Fuji digital, half with Leica digital, and then trying to print it into one publication or put it into one wedding album, it's not gonna work very well because you're gonna get one where the colors are a bit more greeny looking perhaps, and then one where the colors are a bit more pinky or whatever. It's just not gonna look as consistent. So bear that in mind if you're switching between digital cameras, especially if you're working with different camera brands. And number four, one great benefit of having only one camera is you're much more stealth-like and much more agile. So what I mean by this is if you're doing say street photography, if you've got a full backpack full of gear and you've got kind of a camera across here, camera across here, massive kick-ass zoom lens and you're trying to be stealth like walking through a market to get some kind of candid shots at reasonably close range. One, the security catch you straight away, spot you from the security cameras, talking from experience shooting in London, they come out and stop you really quickly. 
Secondly, the person you're trying to photograph sees you and turns away and you miss that, that kind of decisive moment, that critical expression or whatever you're trying to capture. Whereas if you've only got one small Leica M camera with a small 35mm lens, whatever lens you use in your hand, it's so much more stealth-like and you can get much, much closer, even from the wedding kind of scenario. I used to use um, a big 200 f2 uh, Nikon lens on a Nikon D800. And then I went from that to using a Leica M240 and a Leica M9 at the time with a small prime lens. Well, every time I brought this massive zoom lens up, to eye level to photograph people everybody like dropped as if i was like pointing a missile launcher at their face it wasn't very stealth and it didn't really help me to get the the candid shots equally when i'm now using an m camera in a wedding situation people think i'm almost one of the guests i just wear a shirt and tie and i can get within one meter of the the wedding guests and small cameras with a small lens is much much more stealth like and i'm sure all you street photographers know this only too well so yeah, it goes without saying Okay, but what about the cons? What are the cons of only using one camera? Problem number one, if you're only carrying one digital camera and you're doing potentially say client work or really important work, if that one camera fails, you are, for want of a better word, <laughs> so if someone's paying you and you're there to do a job, it's, it's common sense. You cannot do a wedding with one camera body. And the same goes for me for model photography as well. If I'm shooting for clients, I need two bodies. So there's absolutely no way I'd ever do client work and only carry one digital camera. Even if you have it tucked away in the depths of your bag, you need to have a second camera if you're doing client work. Equally, if you're on some super special trip of a lifetime, personally, I think you would be unwise to only carry one camera. Again, if that camera breaks and you've just saved up two years worth of wages to go to some amazing round the world trip and then your camera dies and your interest is photography, you're going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> so you always need two cameras if it's an important situation. That said, if you are a hobbyist or if you're just shooting for fun, only carrying one camera body is really nice because as just mentioned, it's much more freeing if you've got less kit on you. So if you're a street photographer and you shoot street every day, it doesn't matter if your camera dies halfway through the day because you can go home and go out again later or the next day and do the same thing with a different one camera. Number two, if you are of the mindset one camera, lots of lenses, the problem with using one camera body with multiple lenses, especially if you're on location, every time you're taking the lens on and off, you're going to increase the chance of dust getting onto the sensor. Whereas if you only have one lens on each camera body, you minimize that fact. That's particularly true in certain weather conditions. A photographer joined me from Germany for a recent workshop. He used one zoom lens and one camera body because he could not take the lens off where he did his photographs in Norway because of the mist and the high moisture levels. So he needed a weather sealed lens on a weather sealed body and he was not able to take the lens on and off. So I'll mention zoom lenses at the end, but that's a real world situation where you literally cannot take the lens off. And if you do, you're gonna cause problems. So that is one downside. And number three, if you're a film shooter, one downside to only carrying one body is you can only shoot one film stock. If the weather suddenly then changes and you've got ISO 100 film loaded, and you now need ISO 800 film, you're stuck. And the same is if you're shooting black and white and then you come across some amazing color photography opportunity. If you've only got black and white loaded and you're only got one camera, again, that's a problem. Yes, you could unload the film and reload the film, but it's less ideal in certain situations on location. Okay, what about the argument of only using one lens on your camera? That's it for this video, but stay tuned for video number two, where we continue the one camera, one lens theme. As always, a massive thank you to my awesome patrons and see you in the next video. Bye.